Stop talking about KD like he this legendary demon. No. He is in his no. playoffs. He's legendary. No. He literally averaged 30 points per game yeah, in, I'm sure in, you look in the at Bucks his, I'm series. I'm sure you look at his averages. He almost beat the Bucks single-handedly. Amazing. Amazing. With Harden on a great two hamstring. Kyrie Irving did not play. He took quarters. him to seven. Start looking at those fourth quarters. If it was quarters. not against for KD, being on the line. A, no, they go to the Against the Bucks, he was amazing. But you forgot he didn't score in overtime. He did not score. Because he carried the goddamn team to overtime. Without him, they don't even have a chance. You him legendary. He's got to do shit in overtime too. Michael Jordan is a legendary play the man was damn near tired and beat utah in game six the pick a side podcast argued about kevin durant recently got the steal got the nah, game winner damn near tired. that's what legendary so, players so, do so Kobe kevin Bryant broke his hand and he did that that's what Talk legendary LeBron. players Talk do lebron legendary 3-1 comeback came back kevin durant got his foot on the line went into overtime he did score bro stop calling that man legendary because he won with steph curry the greatest shooter ever clay thompson a top three shooter ever stop calling that it got heated with one host playing down durant's reign as a supreme basketball player because when westbrook went down he got smoked out by memphis when they played the spurs he got smoked out when they went up against Golden State. He blew a 3-1 lead. Did like he Kevin not lead him. a team to the finals at 23 years old? Yes. Did he not do that? He's 34. Kev is Kevin Durant not a great elite level playoff performance? Are you saying he's not? You said legendary. You said legendary. You said legendary. There's a difference. Top he's Jordan. the one who sealed the series against LeBron and the Cavs. It wasn't hard. State. It wasn't Oh, he hit the they shot. Were he he the shot they, shot. Was they were double teaming Steph shitty. Curry this in a shitty. situation like, where Kevin Durant is on the court. They're double teaming Steph. Steph is the one getting double teamed. Stop. It's Legendary. Michael Jordan. Kobe Bryant. LeBron James. Even Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Magic, Magic Johnson, Johnson as a rookie. Yes. 45 points. Larry 17 Bird. rebounds. Legendary. Triple double. Larry Bird. Go. Legendary. These are legendary. Hakeem Olajuwon is more legendary than Kevin Durant. That's what we're talking about right now. Stop talking about Katie like he's this guy. He's not that guy. He's a slim reaper. He's garbage when it matters. He's garbage. So they yell over one another and go over their respective points. Now, if one is unaware and you're not on Twitter, or you don't follow these accounts, or you're just not in the know, which is totally fine. Kevin Durant is known to voice his opinion on the Twitter sphere. And he did so once again. When at the fundraiser underscore tweeted, I've been saying this, LOL. Kevin Durant, how do you feel about this? Durant responded simply, can't ask mediocre people about legendary activities. Which honestly, like, truly reminds me of this piece of video. How does it feel when somebody shaped like me tells you to be more aggressive on offense? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, you're a pretty good shape. <laughs> Thank you, but you know what I'm saying. Like when someone behind a keyboard is like trying to like, you know, tell you about, about tell you about basketball. Yeah, I mean. The look says enough. I got it. Yeah, exactly. Like it's, <laughs> it, it, like, it's one of those things where, like, I ignore it. Yeah. Like, there's no point of me responding to you because you don't know what it's like to right. actually be in a right. game seven. You don't know what it's like to be in the finals. You don't know what it's like to go through an 82 game season. So, from all of that, those three things, if you've never done one of those, and even more, if you never play basketball, at the collegiate level, to a sense, like, how are you gonna tell? Like, that's like me telling Messi about soccer. <laughs> right. Like, I, I've never, I, I've played soccer twice in my life, and you know, just because I know all the facts, don't mean I can tell you what's right or wrong. Right. Because there, I have no feel to the game. When the Dan Lebetard show interviewed the Miami Heat's Bam Adebayo, and he gave this answer it's different strokes obviously bam is in a familiar setting with a media outlet that is known locally in south beach and also obviously known nationwide but specifically they operate out of south beach however if it feels like a one-off because bam typically chooses this route of not responding it's because, in his eyes, there is simply no reason to. For a lot of professional athletes, some have fun with it. Some feel like you're just talking to a wall because the opinion does not fit the qualifications to be put into this discussion when it comes to professional sports. 
And Durant, however, not really the same. B-Ball Baby put Katie's handle in a tweet that read, They talk like Katie is just some all-star player, but keep him on Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant standards. Huh? And added KD, to which the two-time NBA champion wrote, I'd be confused too. Then there's more. Mo wrote, KD, with all due respect, they're right, you can deflect all you want, but it's just facts, LOL. To which Durant said, if I think I'm a legend, I'm a legend. It's really that simple. Durant has had some of his greatest playoff scoring performances in recent memory. His 50-burger against the Clippers in the first round in 2019 was a statement game, while his 43-13 and against the Cavs in the 2018 Finals was most definitely one for the ages. The performance in question here is his 48-point performance in Game 7 against the Bucks in the 2021 playoffs. He would send the game into overtime, but would not score in that extra five-minute period. The Nets were carried by Durant that game and had no Kyrie Irving with James Harden not being a factor either due to a hamstring injury. So how do I feel about this? An opinion is an opinion. They're expressing their opinion. What I would love to know is why the dude on the left is so anti KD. What did KD do to ruffle feathers with this individual? What did he say that this dude did not agree with? Also, like all of this at all times is so subjective. We've gone over sports commentary countless times on this channel. It's completely subjective. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. For one person to say KD is not legendary, he's one of the greats of our era. To downplay, and also the LeBron James era. He's right there. So to downplay KD is dumb. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer. I suppose the follow-up question would be, what is your definition of legendary? What is the criteria that this individual holds for someone being legendary? Because... When Durant is done, and he's a first ballot Hall of Famer, and he's giving his speech, I truly will question where this energy is, because I think he has more scoring titles in him, and I think he has more championships in him. And lastly, to go over the, well, he had this help and that help, I hate to say this to you, Everybody has help. The greatest run I ever saw with arguably a one-star NBA championship team was the Dallas Mavericks when they beat the newly formed Heatles. And he had, Dirk Nowitzki had Jason Kidd and Sean Marion, Michael Finley, Tyson Chandler, that team. Like, I thought that was one of the best that I've seen. Um, and what we're seeing now is you don't necessarily need a trio anymore. Not that it's dead. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is you look at a team like the Milwaukee Bucks that built around Giannis Antetokounmpo and won with who I think is one of the most valuable players in the league doesn't get his recognition and his flowers, but Drew Holiday was the second best player because he could shut down somebody defensively and he is a very good and responsible offensive player. So that's my two cents. Give me yours.